Hey guys, last year I did this cute braidless hello braid on my baby and I did record it but the footage was so horrible that I had to get rid of it. So this year on Easter Sunday when I was doing it again I decided to record it again and I'm just getting around to editing it right now. And we did start on some blown out hair and then what I did is just part it from front to back in half and then I parted it again in half from ear to ear. So we're going to have four equal sections and then once those four equal sections were in I just went ahead Head and just put rubber bands on all of them just to keep them separated and guys this was a very 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 long video that I had to chop up and try to make it as short as possible so if you see some parts fast that's why I just had to make it as short as it could possibly be and what you did see me adding there was just some grease to her scalp because it was a little dry and it tends to get a little dry every time I blow dry her hair and now I'm starting with one section in the back. You can start wherever you want to. And I split it that section into three equal parts. You can split it into two equal parts. I just wanted, I guess I wanted to be a little complicated that I did it into three equal parts because I find that it's cuter. The more parts you do, the more cute and the more it looks like a braid. And I did use some um, shine and jam to the hair and what I'm doing is just adding the shine and jam just to the bases of the hair and then I brushed it in and then I added a rubber band then I'm gonna do the very same thing on all the sections and if you haven't joined the family yet guys what are you waiting on go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon right next to it to make sure that you get notified every time that we upload something or every time we upload a new hairstyle and then go ahead also hit the like button if you like this hairstyle so far and once my three subsections in that section are done this is how it's going to be looking we're going to have three equal ones and then now i'm going to start with the front the section that is directly across from the section that i just did and the reason why i do that is because i like to use the other lines from the first section as a guide for the lines for the section i'm on so every time i do it i just do the opposite sections just for the guide for the lines and to make sure that all my subsections are going to be as even as possible and once the line is in guys I'm gonna follow the same steps that I did on the other side I'm gonna add my shine and jam to the bases and then I'm gonna brush all that in and then I'm going to add my rubber band And for this section, once again, I'm using the lines on the other side as a guide for this line. And this also helps the pattern at the end and the lines once it's all done and makes the Hello Braid look really cute and really neat. And then... And guys, if you have not yet, please do go ahead and follow my personal YouTube channel. It's called This Is Me Google, and it will be linked in the description box. Also, follow us on Instagram at This Is Google if you'd like to keep up with us. And then for this section that's closest to the ear, if you do want curls, I just go ahead and section a little piece and just try to tuck it behind the ear before I secure that part in a rubber band. And then that's if you want curls. If you don't want curls, of course, you're just going to include that in the rubber band. But I did want curls on her ears because I find that to be very, very cute. And once your sections are done, guys, this is how it's going to be looking. And then it will be time to start on section number three. This was at night and my baby was tired. So you will not see me do the rest of the sections because she tapped out and went to bed. And what I did when she went to bed, because we were not done, I just went ahead and put all the different sections. Each section, I just twisted it into different twists just like that and then I continued with the last section because I wasn't done and this is how it looked with all the rubber bands inserted and now it's time to start on our halo braid so personally what I like to do is have like some clamps to separate the hair and then I'll just clamp that to the 
side just like I'm doing and I do like to start my braid in the back because you'll end it in the back and it's better to end it to in the back that way it doesn't mess up your pattern in the front so what I'm doing right now is parting the first section in half and then I'm gonna loop the second section through that half and then I clamp that to the side and then now I'm about to add my rubber band and I add my rubber band a little ways from like the base of the hair just like that just to make sure that your braid is going to look very realistic and as puffy as possible because it looks realistic like that and I've seen a lot of people do this very different more different than I do it but I like the way I do it more because it looks like more of a braid and less like a rubber band braid and guys I hope that the video will be more informative than my explanation because I know I suck at explanations but I do try so once the second rubber band is in I'm gonna take the hair that was clamped to the side put that together with the hair that I just put in the rubber band split that in half and then take that third section loop it through the middle of that half clamp that to the side and then I'm going to add my third rubber band and once my third rubber band is in I'm gonna go back to the hair that was clamped to the back put that together that I with the hair that I just put in the rubber band and then split that in half just like so and then I'm gonna take the next section of hair and loop it in the middle of that hair clamp it to the side and then add another rubber band Just keep repeating the steps that I explained or showed you and eventually your braid will start forming and in places where it's a little tight or the braid is not looking cohesive just loosen it up to make sure that they're all the same size and it looks as realistic as possible. And then towards the end guys this is where stuff is going to start to change a little i'm just going to show you how to end this uh, braid or this rubber band halo braid with the last section make sure that you comb it out to make it as straight as possible because we are going to be tucking it that's why i'm brushing it to make sure that the hair is as straight as possible then i'm going to add my last rubber band there's nothing to connect it to at this point and then i'm going to take the last part of the hair then i'm going to take it under that part and then i'm going to add the rubber band like i said my explanation sucks i know it it just is what it is and at this point of course we have nothing to connect it to anymore we don't have any new hair to put through nothing so what i'm doing right now is just splitting that last hang section in half and then i'm gonna tuck one half over onto the top just like i did and then the next half i'm gonna tuck it under that hair into the first section just like that and once that is tucked I'm gonna go ahead and get a rubber band and then tie those two pieces of hair together just like so or you're gonna see in the next frame and once your last rubber band is in once again you're gonna go ahead and split that hair in half just like that and then you're gonna tuck one piece off that half on the top and then you want to tuck the next piece of hair underneath and you really don't need any bobby pins at this point and it's just going to stay like that but if you do feel like you need a bobby pin to uh if you have any hanging piece of hair if you need a bobby pin just make sure you bobby pin it and i'm just separating the hair to make the braid um cohesive I think that's the word i'm looking for and that's how it looks once it's done and you see the pattern that those lines make in the back and it is so cute and now for the piece of hair that we left hanging i'm just gonna go ahead and get some most 
and then I'm just gonna put it in the hair you can take a perm rod at this point but I wanted the curl to be longer so I use a flexi rod and just put that in there and that's pretty much it for that part and then the next part of the hair will be adding the flowers which is my daughter's most favorite part because she loves the flowers in her hair and I got these flowers from Hobby Lobby I think and I just happen to have the same colors and I use these yellow ones for um, her hello braid last year so I already had them I'm not sure what I needed the peachy looking ones for so what I did is just cut it and just bend it just like you saw me doing and then I'm just gonna tuck it in the hair just like that and like I said this is her most favorite part and she just loves it and she just starts feeling herself at this point because she loves flowers in her hair and then the very final part to this is just to remove the flexi rods and reveal the cute curls on the side <laughs> And if you like this hairstyle guys, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and a nice little comment. And today is Wednesday the 25th and hopefully this video will go up today. And in two more days on the 27th, this Friday, my bug turns 6 years old and she will no longer be a toddler. I am so excited and so is she. I am feeling better than I've been feeling the past couple of months and I just can't wait to celebrate my pretty little princess and we might even loop you guys in on the celebrations so please leave us a kind comment and a like and we will see you guys on our next upload